Welcome to Atlanta. Welcome to Atlanta. Welcome to Atlanta. Hey YouTube and welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. We about to do some new things on my channel. Ah, ah, ah. On my channel. Same outfit because it's the same day. So if you didn't watch my cook with me video, go watch that because this is right after. So yeah, we are making my fave s'mores. Well, I guess cookie s'more cups or s'more cookie cups. I'll do that. S'more cookie cups. So you'll need cookie dough, any kind, it don't matter. I like Toll House, so that's what we're doing. Everything else generic though. We got that Kroger brand, honey. Make sure it's honey, cause you know it's a little sweet. Honey graham cracker, Kroger brand, mini marshmallows. I love mini marshmallows. I actually don't like marshmallows, but I love mini marshmallows for this. And chocolate. Only thing about this chocolate is it has nuts in it, which I like and which is not a problem, but usually you're supposed to use a regular one. They didn't have the regular one, so we have this one. So now, Let's get into it. This is gonna be fast, quick, simple. It only takes, what, 12 minutes to cook? So yeah, let's get into it. So first and foremost, grease your pan. However you do it, butter it, grease it, oil it. However you get the stuff to not stick to the pan, do that. And then now we use cookie dough. So originally I only used one little piece because usually I get the big box of cookie dough that like, you know, you scoop or whatever, the big bucket, but I used this instead. And I realized that one little cookie dough square was not enough. So I ended up going over it and putting two on there. But yeah, I just took the cookie dough and smeared it in, smeared it in. My hands are clean. Please use clean hands, please. Like that's nasty to be touching food and people are about to eat it and your hands are not clean. Disgusting, but yeah pushed it down pushed it down as you see i was trying to form a cup but i realized like girl you really just i probably after the second cup i realized like nah this is just not gonna work <laughs> so yeah just squishing in squishing in get it as much as the bottom as possible just to coat it because yeah i was really i was really tripping thinking that one little square was gonna do something <laughs> but okay now i go in with the when you gonna go in with it shauna Okay, now I'm going in with the second square in each one, which actually worked out because I ended up having like an even, you know how like you're picking up the cookies and then like you don't have like an even amount of like squares. Now I have an even amount of squares and I don't have like a leftover square, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense, but it really doesn't matter to this way. But yeah, so you smear it in, smear it in, smear it in, make it like a cup. Like you see how I'm making it like a cup in a sense, like I'm kind of coating the whole, is this like a muffin? baking pan muffin cupcake i call it a cupcake i'm uh, i'm molding the cookie thingy into like a cupcake sh cupcake shape huh <sighs> these voiceovers are gonna be the death of me okay keep watching Now for the fun part, get all your anger out, okay? I'm using this bag because I didn't, I forgot to get some um, Ziploc bags and I don't wanna use all her stuff. So I got this oven meat making bag or whatever and I got something that I could smash with, okay? I smash that crap, make it crumbly. Like you really do not want big pieces. If anything, I really wanted it to be a little powdery, but not really, cause I still wanted to crunch. But yeah, anything that you have, it could be a spoon, it could be whatever, but smash it. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, it's so pretty, but yeah. Keep smashing, keep smashing, keep smashing cause it was not at the consistency that I wanted. So yeah, just keep smashing it and let's go. So now we're at the oven. As you saw in the beginning, I preheated it already. Um, put it in there and yeah, let it cook for 10 minutes. 
and then we're back now you're about to take it out and this is the girl dang you you don't want to take it out <laughs> oh i'm like what what happened look it took me a minute to yeah mm. y'all i'm a little challenged but yeah take it out and now for the fun part try to do this step when it's hot it's a lot easier because you don't want anything to mold into the shape that you don't want it to as you see like the cookie doesn't have the circle center that i need so get a spoon metal spoon of course and just push it because the metal and the heat work good together and just push it to the side push it to the side push it to the side make sure you do not put a hole in the bottom okay do not put a hole in the bottom that's crucial because it is a cup you do not want anything falling through the center so i like well usually i like putting the chocolate in first but now i realize that i actually like putting the marshmallows in first because the chocolate just be acting funny at the bottom so put your marshmallows in first i did four because it's my favorite number but then i took it out and ended up just doing three yeah you see because <laughs> three just fit better in these and now for the chocolate so i took the you know how the chocolate is cut up in like four pieces i took one of the four pieces and then put it in half so each piece is another half for me. So half, 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 half. So I ended up using two, four, no, one, two, three, four, five. I ended up using two Hershey thingies. Yeah. Oh, I only used two. Wow. Well, I could have just, I don't know. But yeah, I only used two little Hershey things and that worked out. I had two left and Tree ate them. So it all worked out. It all worked out. Now, the fun part i'm putting the crumble on top this is actually pretty messy so it kind of wasn't fun i kind of got irritated because i do not like when it's messy <laughs> so just put it as much as you want i like it on top it's like a really nice coating so yeah definitely put a lot put a lot you 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 ain't gonna mess it up just put a lot but yeah that's pretty much it just make it all pretty and just prep it for when we put it back in the oven And now for the fun part, it's almost done. So you put it back in the oven, of course, on the same temp that it was already on. And for this, you honestly just cook it until you feel it's ready because you want the chocolate and the marshmallows to have some time to melt. And if you do it as fast as you're supposed to do it, it will melt quickly. A few minutes later. And we're back. Take it out, let it cool a little bit, and you are finished. Let's go, enjoy it. Like it. Mm. Your ums be sounding like nah, this ain't it. Yeah. You said what? You said do that? Yep. So that's what that means. Mm -hmm. But she's still eating y'all, so I think it's good. <laughs> it is good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yay! Welcome to Atlanta. Welcome to Atlanta. Welcome to Atlanta. Welcome to Atlanta. Welcome to Atlanta.